Good morning to my beloved student. Today we are going to learn the easy explanation of the lesson Japan and Brazil through the eyes of the traveler. In the last class we have discussed about Japanese mannerism, their bowing mania. So let us go in depth about what George Mike's experiences about Japanese and Bra people of Brazil. So here in this class we are going to know about a travelogue, a story of a travel, people and culture of Japan and Brazil, privacy in Japan, bowing mania in Japan. In the last class we have discussed about the Japanese people respect privacy of other people and next we have learned about their mania. So here you can see the beautiful picture. Yes, in the last class we have discussed about the bowing mania and here he is talking about on the famous and the fast Tokedo line between Tokyo and Osaka two conductors enter the carriage in a theatrical scene. You can see here two people are entering that the uh, ticket collect, uh, collector. So how they are at uh, greeting each other. They first they bow at each other. Can you imagine this happening in our country, in our Karnataka, in our state? That is, before starting distributing the tickets, the BMTC conductors are bowing in front of the, um, bowing in front of each other and at the tra people, those who are traveling. No, never it happens. And <coughs> here we can see that the beautiful mannerism of these people, of Japanese people, and especially he's telling that the line between Tokaido line between Tokyo and Osaka were two conductors when they meet each other they bow at each other they march to the middle of the coach bow ceremoniously in both direction then only they start checking the ticket in one of the parts of Nara I met a deer so animal so here he is telling that even not only the human beings got this bowing mania, but even the animals in Japan bow at each other. I bought a pack of food for him. He came up to me, looked into my eyes and bowed deeply. Here means the deer. The deer came, uh, other want, the George Mikes wanted to feed something to this deer. Then what he did this, the deer came to him and bowed at him and what was what the next was really interesting it was no chance gesture it was properly and courteous bow perhaps the deer was more imitative than i knew perhaps if i see people bowing all the time they get into the habit too so here he is telling that oh him the deer would have seen people all over bowing so it would have also imbibed that is the way how to how to when two people meet each other, this is the way how, what you have to do it. I knew perhaps if I see people bowing all the time, they get into the habit too. Perhaps it is something genetic and it is in the blood of Japanese deer. So he's telling not only for the Japanese people, even the animal that bowing mania is the, I do not know, but I do not know the deer bow to me, then jumped at me and snatched the little foot back from my hand. The next part is very interesting. See, as we said that these two conductor in the bus also, they, they bowed ceremoniously in the middle of the, um, carriage then only they started distributing the ticket the same way the deer also when he saw the author what he did is first he bowed and what he the next attempt what he did is he snatched the packet from his hand and he just flew away ran away from that place in this to deer was truly Japanese. So here he is telling that, yes, now I understood that these are really Japanese deer. 
you can often see people bowing to each other with ceremonious serenity at bus stop and he is telling that in the bus stop also they will bow at each other but after that you can imagine you can see that how miserably in this picture you can see how as soon as their bus arrives the bowing gentlemen are transformed into savages savages means the, having the animal nature in you they push each other aside tread down each other's toes and shoe their elbows at each other's stomach and they don't bother the minute you can see the transformation the people bowing at each other now they have transformed like savages they don't bother who is sitting next to them or whether it will hurt others they are not bothered what they will do is they tread on each other they walk on each other with the toes and even they'll hit with their elbows like this then next he is talking about the habit of eating soup eating soup was more dangerous than almost anything else when eating soup you must make a fearful noise like that sound you must make and it is a sign of appreciation and when when you are in japan when you drink soup you must make that sound if you don't make that sound it is shows that you don't enjoy the soup and if you for in order to show the appreciation what you have to do is you have to make a fearful noise and if you don't do you don't your hostess will think what an ill mannered lot you are uncultured man you are but if you do so she will think no reasonably well brought up european man makes such a disgusting noise when eating soup but the same thing in europe while drinking soup if you make a fearful noise people will think that you are an uncultured person so that is a cultural difference between two two uh, two countries now you can see that in japan when you drink soup you have to make the noise as a, a sign of appreciation but the same soup when you drink in europe you mustn't make noise and if you make noise they will think that you are an uncultured fellow so in this thing you know, a picture you can see the landmark or location of brazil here yes next talking about traffic in brazil so we finished right now japan japan we saw about george mike's perspective how they bow at each other how what what how they respect people each other and what is they consider privacy uh, courtesy has having double function that is privacy and courtesy now you can see that traffic in brazil nobody hurries in brazil it doesn't really matter whether you reach your destination an hour to soon a day late or not at all so talking about the people in brazil traffic the talking about the huge traffic they are very slow people the gray pavement street in copacabana are often decorated but you can see that the streets in bad japan are sorry in brazil is beautifully decorated especially the copacabana is with uh, decorated with black mosaic tiles a unique type of decoration only people alive to beauty in their surrounding who have plenty of time of contemplating during their meditative and ambulatory exercise would take the trouble to decorate pavements they walk so when you walk on the streets of brazil you can see that the pavements are being nicely decorated and when you when you go for your morning exercise ambulatory exercises you would take the trouble to decorate the pavement they walk on so the pavements are very nice however as soon as they easy going leisurely characters get steering wheel in their hand no speed is fast enough for them but this lazy people even if they are doing exercise they are very slow they enjoy the beauty of the pavement but the same people when they get the driving steering in their hand they are saying that no speed is not fast enough for them 
you would then be inclined to believe that gaining the tenth of second is a matter of grave importance and one minute one second to st- wait wait um, uh, uh, keeping the steering in your hand for them it is very important they don't have patience when they get the steering of the vehicle in their hand the same people who are luxury lavishly leisurely taking their walk on the pavement they change their color for them for not one minute or one second is very important they drive very fast so you can see the road over here how the t- tiles has been nicely decorated and people are doing slow exercises over the motor car are extremely expensive in brazil import duty being crippling and murderous so here he is telling that people uh, it is very export duty Imp- duties are very high we have to pay high taxes if you want to purchase a vehicle in brazil only a few other poor south american state are in worse position in this respect complaint are universal so always wherever you see people complains uh, telling that government imposes heavy duty on the luxury products especially like car um, all those stuffs yet this only means that the number of motor vehicle is going by leaps and bounds but he is wondering that people uh, people are complaining about the tax problem but he is telling that number of the vehicle increasing not day by day minute by minute you can see that number of vehicle in the street or new vehicles are increasing almost as if the cars were distributed free of charge to all sundry so he feels that the car is distributed freely that um, that is the reason the way we feel that they, we are getting it we feel that we are the cars are distributed freely if we feel because so many number of vehicles on road are so much even though the import duties are very high that is taxes why very high but still people purchase cars in brazil this pedestrians life become more dangerous or hazardous means dangerous every day so he's talking about the people um, who is traveling on road especially the pedestrian pedestrians means the people who walks on the road their life is really hazardous means dangerous it is not the driver do not care about the pedestrian the trouble is that they do care about them so he is telling that it is not they are not bothered about the pedestrians but he is telling that yes def- they definitely love the pedestrians that pedestrian is those who walking and they are in fact out on the outlook or lookout they are actually waiting for a pedestrian as soon as the drivers notices the pedestrian step off the payment he regard him as a fair game and he takes aim and accelerate so here he is telling that actually the driver in the car is actually looking for a pedestrian if you see a pedestrian on the road what he will tell he will increase the speed of the car and the pedestrian has to jump and leap and run for dear like just like when you see a mosquito on the wall what you feel like hitting or wherever if you are eating also you are watching tv also you don't mind you will get up from the place and try to chase the uh, mosquito the same way you can see that when the they may be slowing drive slowing uh, dry, uh, driving very slow but what happens is that when they see the pedestrian what they will do they will increase their speed drastically he does not reset this in the least driver and the pedestrian so he is comparing the driver and pedestrian to a comparison underline that word hunter and prey similarly amicably at each other you can see that they are friendly but actually they are looking out for it i win today you will win tomorrow sometimes the pedestrians are able to cross the road and escape from the driver's hand without any hitting what they will tell no problem next time i will try it and they say the war between driver themselves is murderous but good tempered but he is telling that even though they are driving fast and they are looking out for a pedestrian those who are walking on this road still they are not having a bad temper they are good tempered people they cut in they overtake on both side they force you to break violently and commit all the heinous crimes all bad crime heinous is very bad crime 
off the road and 20 times every hour but they smile at you at the same time there is no anger no hostility no mad hooting so if your pedestrian is going walking on the road they'll try to increase the speed and threaten the pedestrian's life but if they don't hurt the pedestrians they do it's just like a they treat it as a fair game and after that if the pedestrian escape from the driver's hand but they will smile at each other and there is no anger no hostility no anger for that no mad hooting after that they don't keep in their mind so this is talking about the traffic in brazil people are very lethargic lazy people when they do the ambulatory walks and exercises on the street but the same people when they get the steering in the hand what happened they become totally changed by a person and for them even one second is very important they increase the speed especially when they see somebody walking on uh, walking on the road or trying to cross the road they'll try to threaten them it's not really they want to harm them they consider this as a fair game and if they don't what they will do they treat it is just like they smile at each other and there is no anger and no mad hooting the avida presidenta varagai is the worst place of all so he's talking about the worst traffic signal so just for example when you go to commercial street over here you can see that the traffic is very your vehicle moves very slow especially on uh, when there is a fly uh, next to the commercial street when you go further you can see that you you cannot go beyond 40 kilometer per hour you stand there trying to cross the road and contemplating truly fascinating problems so he is telling that the most the worst thing when you travel in brazil is the the main junction known as avidinda prasade varagas where you have to contemplate you have to literally be meditating how crawling traffic proceed at such a terrific speed as hour after hour passes with a ray of hope of an auspicious crossing you may see witness a scene something like this a man on your other side of the avidita varaga suddenly catches sight of a friend on his or the other side start waving to him at the same time looking completely mystified so he is telling his own experience if you go to the main junction in avidita president de varage what happens over there is to cross the road is very um, very t- tough and you cannot go uh, faster over there and he say, says that if you meet any familiar friends in that place we'll say the why you the why i why why i saw this person on this place because it is very difficult to meet each other in that point because the traffic the traffic he says that it's a crawling traffic how on earth did you get here he shouts across trying to make myself heard about the traffic it is other fellows turn to be surprised to be me questioning he yells back how i was born on this side so he is telling that the worst place to travel talking about um, brazil is the worst place because of the crawling traffic and he says that his experience actually this is from his own perspective uh, understand see and you must understand that a traveler is not a permanent person who is going to say so what he have seen maybe for that particular day it can be it may not be true it is from that's the reason it's a travel log so it is his perspective and his outlook suddenly when i come to uh, your house if there is a noise uh, over there i cannot tell that always you are shouting and fighting over there so when i came it was this is was my experience the same way may be true we are not sure about it but george mike have narrated his own experience this is what happened in japan and brazil so um, summing up to the point brazil what he speaks about the brazil is the people over the in brazil are really good and they are very lazy little lethargic people um, and um, when they walk on the pavements they are very slow people but the same people when they get the steering in their hand they change drastically they increases the speed and especially when they see a person walking on the footpath they wanted to threaten them 
and but at the same time they never keep any anger in them for them it is just like a game over the so you can see the scene of the president day varaga so just you can imagine if you see your neighbor standing the next part of the road and how you will try to communicate it is really and uh, you can uh, you can understand the feeling of the people who are seated in the car they are waiting so they are mostly impatient right now so i hope you have enjoyed the class today uh, learning about the travel log and his experience about um, about uh, the uh, in japan and brazil so once again i'm just doing a small recap for you Uh, nothing much it's quite interesting lesson where author is pointing out to uh, to st um, uh, state uh, to country that is japan and brazil her their experience as i told you it is his personal perspective it can be real or it may be his experience you cannot question over the so hope you understood this lesson and if you have any doubts please let me know have a spirit filled day thank you